Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Farrakhan, a product designer working in London. And in this video, I thought it'd be fun to create some icons in Figma, something super casual. I'm no icon expert, but I thought it'd be cool for me to share some tips that I use when creating icons. We're gonna be creating a food icon set. I'll link the icon set in the description below for you to follow along with as well. So be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and let's get started into Figma. So when jumping into Figma and creating icons, the first thing you want to do is have in mind a type of style and direction that you want to go to make sure all your icons look quite uniform. So what I mean by this is, for example, all the icons here are following a one pixel stroke and they're actually following a little outline that breaks the line. So as you can see, it's like trying to follow this little single line pattern here and it makes all the icons look a lot more uniformed. So have a style in mind, whether you want to use like a two pixel stroke, you want to use a solid fill, make sure you follow these rules and it helps you have a consistent icon set. And the reality is the stricter your rules, the more uniform your icons are going to get as well. So when starting off as a beginner, I highly recommend to have some rules in mind. If you want to follow the same rules as me, where literally you got one pixel outline and a single stroke, um, a single line when you're basically creating the ice cream and food icons here. Another thing to mention is that these are all designed with 32 pixels, uh, a baseline grid, and the reason being is because we use a multiple of 8 because it's so divisible and it's easy to divide and scale. So from 32 when you half it, it can go to 16, if you want to half that again it can go to 8 by 8 same if you scale it up. Um, so it's used across the industry as well. So let's create some icons in Figma. You literally just need to create a blank canvas. And one thing I want to say is I'm no icon expert and it takes me ages to come up with icons that I'm happy with and there's so many iterations that I go through for creating an icon. So I've had hundreds of iterations to create this final icon set here and you can see by the, the amount of frame names that we're going through here. So you can see we're over like frame 113 here for nine icons. So we're averaging um, 11, 12 iterations per icon. So the key for me when creating icons is patience and basically iterating, coming back the next day with a fresh eyes and asking different people for different opinions and it works really well. So the icons I thought would recreate is the bubble tea icon and some fries. And the reason being is because I feel like they both have the follow some core principles that can teach you how to make icons across the board. And one massive tip when it comes to creating icons, and I've learned from a senior designer over time, is think of icons as basic shapes. So literally all icons follow the basic shapes of it. You can create an icon from a circle, a rectangle, a square, or a triangle. Once you think of, of an icon like this, you can imagine how to recreate things. So remember everything comes from a basic shape when it comes to creating an icon. So this is a semicircle here. This is a rectangle. This here is another rectangle. We've pushed in the outline a bit. Same with the fries here. These are just rectangles that are on various different shapes. And if we look at here, the gelato icon, this just like circles have been cut off a bit early, the burger icon. So think of everything like simple shapes and it will help you so much when you're creating icons. So first thing I recommend to do is just create a frame and we're doing it 32 by 32. So you can draw this here and then quickly change that to be 30 d by 32. And one thing I've got here is um, basically a baseline to follow for all the icons. So it helps you keep all your icons uniformed in the height and width. Because we're flipping some of the icons vertical and horizontal, if all of them are inside this box, it means they're all gonna be on a similar line and shape and this helps a lot. So we usually turn this on and off. So to start with the bubble tea, the first thing we want to do is create a rectangle for the little container. 
I really do love bubble tea. It's a massive trend here in the UK and people just go crazy for bubble tea. And I thought, why not just create a bubble tea icon? So let's make this a stroke. Like I said, everything on these icon sets are gonna be a stroke and we're gonna get rid of a fill here by pressing the minus icon. And the one thing I realized is we wanna push this in a bit more. So there we have it, we've got a rectangle. And then to get the rounded edges, we just go to the border radius here and press one. So you wanna make sure all your border radiuses are consistent to make it more uniform to your icon set. So here we're gonna follow a two pixel border radius actually. And now we wanna actually push out the edges. So one thing you double click and you get the little outlines here and then you can just use on your keyboard the left and right arrows to basically push the lines out and we've got a little cup here so next thing we want to do is pretty create the little top bar of the cup that you get it's like your typical like starbucks cup so one thing we're going to do is create this rectangle first of all to show you so like I said, everything's a pretty simple shape and then make this a stroke. And we wanna put this cup underneath here. So we wanna make this even as well to make sure it's easy to center our items. And then we're gonna make this two pixels here. And then we're gonna delete the top here. And then there we have this. But on our icon here, we've actually pushed um, the width to give it a bit of extra character here. So the little top is a tiny bit bigger. And this is our little cup that we're going for. And the next thing I want to show you is how to make the little bit of a strawberries for the little plastic dome. So let's quickly check the little frame that we've got here. So we can see it's literally just on the edge here. It's looking good, but it means we don't have too much room for the top. But um, let's quickly create an oval for this. And there's a really cool Figma trick to create um, a semicircle. So add a stroke here, get rid of a fill. And then what you can do is you get this arc on the top right and then you sweep it to 50%. And there you go, you got a semicircle, flip that round, and there we have it. We've got a little semicircle here, and that's a little dome at the top, but it's already a bit too big. So we're gonna quickly delete the middle. So get rid of that. And then just quickly make that smaller, and make that centered. So there we, we've got the little container here. I think the proportions are a tiny bit off personally, so I'm gonna make this um, a little smaller. And I'm gonna probably make this a bit bigger. I'm gonna move this down a bit. That's looking a lot nicer. Again, like, Doing this live, I'd probably have a lot more chances to like iterate through various different options. So I feel like this is looking okay. And let's quickly create a straw and see how this basically balances out. I think when you're creating icons, you don't want to make it too busy. I feel like this bubble tea one has a lot of going on. So um, maybe in the final icon set, I might change this a tiny bit, but a detail is nice, but then at a smaller scale, you won't see all of the detail in it and you're at risk of making it look way too busy. Um, so uh, one thing I'm not happy with is the thickness of this straw. So easy way to change that is just change your width to like three. And then we want to remove the bottom. So then it sits underneath here. And the easy ways to do this is, if I zoom in, and you double click, I'll probably have to zoom in quite a bit here. And the little middle point pops up and you just delete that. 
because it's um, following like the VEX network, so Figma just expanded it out a bit. So maybe we can like shrink that to two. And then make that more centered. And then we have to like reduce the height here. Okay, so this is looking a lot nicer. I'd probably like like reduce the dome size a bit. Doing this real time is probably like it'll take me a lot longer, but the idea is to give you a basis of how to create an icon. And then to get the line across here, simple rectangle to go across. And let's make the height um, make this a stroke. And then let's make the border radius here too. And because we want to reduce this bit here. Okay, that's looking cool. The last bit we have to do is add the bubble tea. So the tapioca pearls. So literally they're little circles. So add a stroke. Get rid of the fill here. Strokes a tiny bit too big. And for three by three. And then start adding them. And then these are going to be separated one pixel by one pixel, so I need to move this up. And then let's group this together and then center this. So you probably want to go on the X axis and make this 10.5 to make sure it's centered inside this container here. And then let's move this up. So this is like the basics of creating this icon here. I'd probably um, like scale this down a bit more because if we like look at the inactive here, um, it's actually like touching a few of the borders. Like this is actually going out. So we'll probably want to get this rectangle and like remove this down. And then we'd probably want to like shrink this down. But that's like the base of creating this icon. So onwards to creating the chips next.
The last thing I'd like to quickly talk about is how do I hand off icons for developers to use and to for other people to use. So what we do is when you paste in your icon, it's created as a frame, but what you wanna do is make sure everything's on a single line and on a single vector network, so it's easy for people to scale your design up and down. So the way to do this is by creating unions, so that's by joining things together. So we can see here, you can union your selection. So you wanna union these together, and then let's union the fries box and then then what we can do is create a union together with the rest of them and now that's a single union together so all the parts are now joined as one and what you do is you flatten this and now that is one stroke which is awesome and then the last thing you want to do is create this as a component so let's quickly name that as fries 2 create component at top and then there you go that is how you hand them off so when you go into assets here and other people want to use them in your design system that it comes up we've got fries to our coffee burger icon and then what you can do is you can export it as an SVG if you need to or a PNG or a PDF I know for Android it's usually SVGs and then for iOS it's usually PDFs so that's how you export them and get them into like a single stroke and outline. I hope you found that video useful. Like I said, I'm no icon expert, but hopefully you learned a few tips and tricks and it gives you confidence to create your own icon sets. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any icons that you've made or any tips that you've learned. And be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.